Hey there, it's Potmos and nice of you to join me, even though I am one and a half minutes late with actually starting the game. But hey, here I am. It's nothing for me, but ha, I'm here. So nice of you to join me as we are going to continue building our little town right here in Foundation. Last time we started a fortress and I think it will be very nice if we could build a bigger fortress at some point. And maybe also start working on a monastery, so... That are basically the goals for today but so nice to have a bunch of you already here i hope everybody's doing fine i know i am doing fine i had a good day and uh lots of cycling on the television today so that's always nice because i enjoy that while uh, building away with my legos so here's our town we're actually quite busy i'd say the music is a bit loud in my ears I think this might be a little better maybe also for you people at home so it doesn't interfere with listening to all the talking and uh, well good evening kevin Rodog, and everybody else feel free to mingle in chat of course that's always something you can do but you don't have to do you can just lurk around if you want to and uh ooh, four newcomers i hope i have jobs for them otherwise we'll have to provide them some oh we have some jobs two dairy farmers Another taverner, but we need a commoner for that. So let's do a promotion here, if we can, actually. Yep. Teresa is unemployed. Let's promote her and put her to work in the tavern. Oh, no, we were waiting for somebody to... Uh, so that we could name Kevin in the tavern. That's right. That's right. Oh, well, then we'll leave this one available. So we are busy... Trying to get to things like a cheesemaker. And we can probably put the commoner in work there. Here we have the dairy farms. Let's get five cows in this one too. Otherwise it's just five in this one. That's not supposed to be good. the right thing. Yep, there they come from the backside. That's great. Cheesemaker is built. It also needs a commoner. So now we can get a cheesemaker in there. We'll just have to wait for the milk and stuff to come out of that. And then we can work there. <laughs> well kevin we still have to make the ladies feel welcome and and feel like they really want to do that stream so try to be a little bit nice for them <laughs> but i have to say i am really looking forward to tomorrow's stream with astroneer and all the ladies having fun there that should be so awesome to watch and of course it gives me a, a night off so hey i'm happy all right, we have a few wounded soldiers, so we're not just going to run off. Doing a mission right now. We'll wait a bit with that. As I'm uh, already starting to scout around a bit for a nice area for the monastery. We need a lot of land to actually get the monastery up. So we have to think about where to do that. There's iron. That's good. But we already have the tool industry up now, and it seems to be working quite well. So I like that. What I would like to do now also is to go to the resources. Because we should now be getting milk and cheese. We have berry brew. I just want to see everything that we have, basically. So I'm just going to put these all in there. So that we can really see what we have. So yeah, we have good amounts of coal and iron. They can turn that into tools. So that is working out. The blacksmith's doing that. He's doing a good job. So happy with that. Granary is built. That's nice. This is the one for all the milk. And then, of course, all the cheese. Now we have to expand our markets to actually be able to sell some cheese. So that is one thing that we have to do. And we have to put workers in the granary, of course. Otherwise, that won't work. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm interested to see who will take the lead tomorrow and who will tell them what to do and whether Herodev is going to wander off alone into space again. So plenty of things to look around for. It'll be really interesting. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Berries, fish, bread, bread, berries, fish. But there's no fish. Oh, we, haven't, we don't have so much fish. So let's change this one out to cheese. That's easy. Then we'll sell a little bit less fish. But I think that's okay. We should start to sell a little bit more clothing, maybe. Can we do... Oh, that's also... Oh, I made a few different stalls there. But not the ones that I want to have there, actually. We need a couple more 
food stalls here now. One. At least one for the... Uh... At least one for the cheese. So let's do that. So that we can sell all the different types of food here as well. Newcomers. Very warm welcome to all of you. We want another dairy farmer. I want two people in here. And I want another cheese maker. I think for that... We need to have Peronella upgraded or promoted as it's called, of course. And now we can make her a cheese maker too. Now, um, I've been talking to Richie Rich via the comments of a video. And he really wants to be a soldier. Now, of course, we already have Donny Danger. But I guess we can name this one Richie Rich then. Because, hey, that's what this game is about. Having everybody who wants in, in the game, to have a role. So if you want to be in, just let me know. We'll try to find the right spot for you. And, of course, thanks for being here. If you're watching, I hope you enjoy. Feel free to ask any questions, give suggestions, or just talk in chat. Or just lurk around. All is good. Let's start prospecting a little bit. Now, somebody told me that if you click a certain mountain area that you have not prospected yet, that you can also send out your bailiff to do that. But this one we already have checked out, apparently. A stone deposit. I don't know how that works, so I'm just going to try it. But hey, I can't click anything, so yeah, we're just going to do it like this. And out. There goes the bailiff. I want to be a spacesuit. <laughs> oh, Kevin. <laughs> oh, boy. The ladies are going to have a hard time tomorrow. I can hear that. They should not be reading the chat too much, I guess. Is there anything we can unlock with the edicts already? No, this needs 10 coins. We have 8, so that is going the right way, but we're not there yet. We can unlock some extra decos if we want to. Let's do so. We have the money for it anyway. So what have you all been doing this week? And today, I hope you all had a great week and a great day. Alright, we have some extra decorations. Let's see what we have. We have a nice plant arch. It gives a lot of beautification points, so that's nice. A refined bench. So we have this very cool looking bench. And then this is apparently the refined bench. I don't know about that, but... Um, some banners. Ooh, more stone gates. Fifty stone arch and a stone gate. Interesting. Ooh, and a lot of uh, fountains and stuff. These are very cost. Whoa, that's a big one. It's also very costly, but it's nice to have a fountain somewhere, I guess. Maybe right here in the middle of this little square. Let's just do it. Let's see how that looks. <laughs> All right, Kevin, I'm not going to respond there. Let's take a look at these persons here because Elcher is a guy. So we're going to name this guy. Kevin Frost. Then we are going to promote him. Oh, we don't have the money. But if we have the money, we're going to promote him. And then he's going to work in the tavern as well to keep a little eye on Roadhog. So he does not uh, drink all the beer himself. So yeah, let's add him to the tavern. The others can go into the transport business. But now we're also at the max. We don't have a lot of jobs available anymore. Ooh. Your trading prowess has inspired some of your villagers and they wish to build an automated fountain masterpiece to honor the occasion. Okay, very well. But we're not going to do that right now. We'll do that later. The automated fountain masterpiece. We'll do that later. Let's see, this one is busy. I was going to check my soldiers again, see if they were healing up. One, two, three, four. We have five wounded soldiers, but we also have five very good soldiers. Now, we could go on an easy mission. Um, because that will help get rewards. And these five very fully trained soldiers can do that on their own. So we'll send them out so the other five can heal up. 
Is it worth creating another village later? Well, it depends on the term village. In the end, it is all one village. So even though we build an extra marketplace here, the whole idea of the game is that you build one big town that consists of different areas. There's also only one village center that you place in the beginning of the game. We can't do another one. Um, but it could be worth it at some point to build a part of the village somewhere further out. That's, that's absolutely true. But in the end, you just um, basically build one one town all right i'm still looking for an area where we can build the monastery that would be fitting and nice looking and where we have a lot of space for the monastic garden and stuff maybe we should do that somewhere up here i'm not 100 percent sure so we'll st we're still thinking about it and then we'll see i was doing a bit of research on colonize to see or it is money worth now it is for sale. I already have colonized Roadhog. And so far it is not worth your money yet. It is still very, 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 very early access. There's not a lot in the game. There's way too many bugs yet. And um, it's okay. I'm, I'm planning on doing a first look video soon about it. But that's all I can do about it. Um, because um, it, it's just not, not good enough yet. They, they released it too early. That's my opinion at least. Hey, Donny Danger. Getting ready for your own stream, I guess, in uh, 45 minutes, something like that. Sorry to interfere with yours. How are you doing? I was sad to see your uh, Thursday stream not uh, continued, because I was really looking forward to The Last of Us. Alright, two new people, that's... Uh Oh, thanks, Rodog. Then I know I make the right decision if you agree with me. <laughs> yeah, I had to claim some stream time this weekend because otherwise Wifey would have taken all my stream time, so I had to do it. <laughs> oh, we can do five more soldiers. Then we have 15. That could, could actually be good. We have one person available, so let's get 11 soldiers now. Now, somebody already suggested build a couple of extra training dummies so more soldiers can train up. That's true, we can do that. But I first want the fortress to take more shape before we're actually going to do that. That could be uh, something to, uh, to do now, by the way. So maybe add like a treasury or something. And then we can uh, hopefully... Increase the size of the fortress. Although one of the other things we could do is in the end build a whole new fortress. This is just going to be the training fortress then. I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. Uh, let's begin with the fortified keep. So yeah, we can build this big tower. I want to build another tower here. Let's see if it's placed correctly. No. I want it to... Uh Turn around a bit like this. Yes, this is better. Then we put the big roof on. And then we can uh, build this. Yes, then I click it again. And now we're going to build a treasury attached to it. That will consist of these smaller buildings. And that will be one of the... Uh, sides like this so that it will actually be a fortress too far it's already attached to it how can it be too far but hey we'll build it all right we'll see let them do this first it's already going to take them quite some time to get yeah if after this stream i'll straight go to you uh, dolly danger and i'll refer some more people to your stream of course Gotta eat soon. Ooh, nice. What are you gonna eat? When do you get archers? I don't know. They're not in the game yet. I hope they will be at some point. I know that the um, whole fighting does not have the main focus of the developers. But yeah, that would be interesting to get archers and, and different types of soldiers. But... Well, we do get different weapons. So with the mission that we're on now, we should be able to get like spears and other weapons. So that is already something. We have a soldier without a weapon, so we can give this one a sword now. Cottage pie, nice. 
Assignment's in, so she's free. Well, very good. Congratulations on putting it in. Now I hope that the score is good and then you're all off to a nice new adventure in life, I guess. Very good. Give her our best. Ooh, bunch of new people coming in. <laughs> if he's smart, he's now going to say both, but um, yeah, I can retire. <laughs> oh, just retire, fully focus on your channel, and then in, in a while you're still the money-making machine, but... Um, I can speak from experience, though. Let your wife do the work, you stay at home. Very beneficial. All right, let's hand out some extra swords. Let's get some more training done. Then we'll have 15 soldiers. That will be very nice. We have our new fountain up. Look at that. That is cool. I like how it looks. It's not really working though. I don't see it uh, working. But hey, it's fine. At least we have it up. And now we need to start really worrying about the monastery. So let's buy some land so we can build a big monastery. It needs to be a bit flat. I think this could be a nice area. Nah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Could also make a big coastal one maybe. But I do want a lot of space for it. I think this could be a nice plot for it. Together with this one. So they're there. Hey, here it is. Nice of you to join us. How are you? I made cottage pie the other night, but it wasn't my best one. Ah, well. Can't all be the best ones. I mean, some have to be a little bit less. Will you rent her out for a week? Are you talking about the pie, Roadhog? I don't know what you want to do with that pie, but uh, I wouldn't rent it out to you. <laughs> right, that's the church. Let's start off our monastery. Maybe we should start off by just killing all the trees here. So that we see what we're actually doing. Let's just do this. We'll tell this whole area to be chopped down. And then right there in the middle, we will build the forester. Then it can clear the area and then we can build a monastery there. We're now we're working on the fort anyway, so let's keep doing that for now. And let's see, food wise, I think we have most of the buildings. Oh, we don't have a hop farm and a brewery yet, but we need wheat for it too. So we need to expand our wheat farms as well. Hmm. What if we buy this extra piece of land? Get chopping wood here as well. We build an extra wood chopper here too. Clear this land so we can have more wheat farms here. And then also hop farms. And from there on, we can start beer production. I guess that will be good. Puppy's still in bed. I'll feed her in a few. Ah, nice. Well, I hope you have your first coffee yet. You should really get your coffee and not forget about that. Immigration incentive is still high, so that is a good thing. They're really building the fortress up here. And even though we um, use quite a bit of tools... The amount of tools we have is still growing, so I am really happy with that. We have a lot of fully trained soldiers. Very good. Two new people in. No jobs for them, but we are working on those. Let me see. Lumber camp built. Very good. Let's go there. Let's put the people in there. Get to work. Then we need to build more weed farms here, apparently. All right, let me see. If I click these two and I put these screens up, I can see where I've made their um, sewing areas. So if we build another one like right here, then it should be so that we can make this area another piece of um, weed farm, which is nice, I think. 
Yes, we'll build it right there. Then we also need to construct the hop farms if we want to get to beer. Uh, I don't think they use that much space, actually, in terms of how much they need. Um, we'll build them next to each other and then we'll make hop fields here if we can. I like this. And then we just have to get the brewer up somewhere. Start making beer. It also needs water. All right, let's build two breweries. Uh, I think this will all go in the granary, but we can luckily easily check that. Yes. Okay, so build a granary here. To hold all the goods that we need. Uh, we'll build it on this site. Yes. Well, a lot of production's coming in now, but then we have beer. Storage is full. Oh, that's fine. That means that we have a lot of stone. But that is a good thing. Could get a little bit extra cut stone. If we want to. But we also already have quite a bit of cut polished stones. Are we selling polished stones? Because that could make us some nice money. Uh, misclick there. I needed this one. Polished stones above 100. Okay, very good. Hey, Stephen. Nice of you to join us. Happy that you're here. I hope all is well. Here, all is good. We are really trying to expand the town. We're going to get to beer production in this corner. We will be building a big monastery in this area soon. And we are expanding the fortress as we speak. So, uh, I hope this will please some people in the whole aesthetics of the things, of course. Already getting nervous here at F? I mean, now that everything is announced for tomorrow. Your lady's big adventure. <laughs> that should be so much fun. Your soldiers were victorious and they're coming back from a mission. Very nice. Very nice. I like that. Courier is approaching. Oh, that is never a good sign. One, two, three, four. Four people joined our village. I first want to have a lot of woodcutters extra. So that all the wood can be chopped away for the um, farm fields here and for the monastery. And after that we can continue. We don't have so many planks at this point. So I have more industries that we can build. <laughs> Let's build. Well, at least we're providing a lot of jobs. Let's see. Celebrating bread. There is plenty of bread in the granaries. And the elders are thinking your village might be ready for the bread fair. If you can make sure everyone has a good time, there's a good chance the trading value of this resource, resource will improve. All right. Let's hold a trading fair. I think that's fair. Mining taxes, tavern taxes. Wow, interesting. Saturday passes too fast. Yeah, that's always the case with Saturdays, I guess. Although now that I was streaming, I was preparing for the stream and setting everything up. And then I was like, oh, I have to check um, wifey's work times tomorrow and how, how early she has to get up and stuff. And then it was like, oh, no, it's not Sunday. It's only Saturday. So I'm just happy because now it's still Sunday tomorrow. So I still have a day on another day off. <laughs> I already did it last week, so I know what I'm in for. Etch and I played a bit in my game last night too. Midnight and his fits have been helpful. Oh, very good. Oh, we got three spears, two spears from our mission. Ah, that is very helpful. So we got some better weaponry now. So what we can do if we go to our soldiers now, and I can show you the difference straight off. So let's just take a look at a... Um, do I have a fully trained level 0? No. But let's just take this fully trained level 2 soldier. It now has a sword. 
And that gives it strength 8. If we switch that out for a spear, it goes to strength 14. So a spear is a way better weapon. So let's see who are all this one. Donny Danger is actually already level 3. So he's becoming a very good soldier. I'm going to give him a spear now. That will make him stronger. And once he's healed up with his wounds... I think we should all be very proud, by the way, that he is just wounded and he did not die. I'm happy with that, so kudos for that. But once he's fully trained again, he should be very strong with his spear, so that's nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We still have 15, 14, 15 soldiers, so that's good. He is actually our best soldier, Donny Danger Gaming, so all that war games pay off. Very good, very good. You're learning. I love it. You could be the captain of my soldiers. All right, we have our farm up. Let's start painting the crop field for this one. Oh, that's a little bit too big. Let's start painting the crop field here. Now, of course, these trees will first have to be removed. But once they are removed, this can work out very well. So just give them time. <laughs> Donnie can go on a rampage. Don't give him too much uh, confidence, otherwise he'll just start tearing down the fortress or something, showing all the other soldiers how strong he is and then accidentally killing my fortress off. So uh, I don't want that. But we can see we now have extra gold space because our uh, our storage is up, our gold storage is up, and the keep is built with the extra tower. I like that. So now we are going to add another sub-building. I guess it can be another training ground, but then on this side... And we'll do the same three on this side. Now I also want to do... Should we do a little bit of gallery like this? Can it go on? No, it can't go on there. This will give them a way to get up there. So that's not good. What I would like to do is get something like this going. But this is too high. Alright, so let's remove these. We'll have to build slightly bigger this time. Maybe we can do it like this. One. Come on, two. Three, yes. Then we give them some porches here. One. Two. Three. I don't know if I can build anything underneath there. Can I build some stuff like this under there? Yes. Good. All right, then we'll place a few extra weapon racks here. Like this. We do have bows here. It's just that we can't really uh, get any archers. But I think this looks nice. We'll build another. We'll build a real training camp here, or one of these. I think that can be very cool too. Or, ah, that should probably be... Uh, placed a bit like this. This is where the soldiers will be training. And then maybe we should also add some more of these dummies. But they can go in front of this. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so this will be a very big, nice training ground. I like it. Hey, Cooper. Nice of you to join us. How are you? I hope all is good. We don't have any available villagers. Delighted villagers. Oh, the villagers are happy. So that's good. We get a happiness bonus. The brewery is now built. All right, so we have a lot of stuff already set up. We now have to paint the uh, crop field for the uh, hops. Well, this one is going to be a little issue. But this one should be pretty good. So I guess we'll have to put workers in this one first. Then we can get the hop fields out here. And they can start to create a lot of hops. For the um, brewery. Then we also need water here to provide the breweries with the, their water needs. Let's build it right there. Alright, and whole industry area up. But we need a lot of new villagers to come in now in order to uh, get all those jobs fulfilled. Yeah, we coop. <laughs> well, I hope you both are fine. You have the advantage Potmos isn't there. Yeah, there won't be a guy... Yeah. 
telling them what to do. So now all the ladies can decide on their own. But I guess it's also more interesting now if you have four ladies playing. Even if two go off world, there will be still two on, the own, on their own world. So there will be some more communication and stuff. I think that can be really nice. All right, let's get three people in the farm to get some extra weed going. Have you got water coverage for everything? Uh, no. Basically, you need the well in town here. Uh, oh, that's the village center. And people will go to the well for water. It has infinite water, so that's easy. But you don't need to cover all the areas. People will come to the market or to the well here. Here we have a market. I have not built a well here yet. So that might actually be a good idea to also give them a well here. So that they can also get a drink here. Uh, but you don't need that many wells actually. One well can supply a whole village even if it's like 500 people. The only thing is they have to go there. That takes time of course. Um, so having multiple wells around is smart. But you don't really have to. It's just that some industries of course require a well. So the baker requires water for bread. So if you build one close that's easier. Same with the brewery. It needs a well close for more efficient production. But in the end you could basically run a village with just one well. It's just not so efficient. All right, let me take a look at this. Oh, wow, they're really busy building this. This is very cool looking, I have to say. All right, we have the extra carpenter up, but also need people in there. We also need people in the stonemason's hut. So, eh, could use like 20 immigrants at one time, but that's not going to happen. We'll just have to be a little bit patient. All right, enact the milling taxes. We still have one of those missions to do. So let's see if we can actually do that. We have the contractual wage. What's this? Sturdy material and careful planning. Oh, we don't have the milling taxes yet. What can we do here? Trade price bonus of 10% from village with kingdom allegiance. Kingdom buildings upkeep go down. If a military mission is ongoing, taxation accumulation speed is increased by 50%. Now this is good. That means that we get extra taxes in and we can make the buildings cheaper. Newcomers ignore the happiness immigration factor. That's nice. But we're going to do the labor upkeeps building for cheap. That's better. I think we still have to unlock the um, milling taxes. Don't we? No, milling taxes... It has been unlocked, so we should be able to enact that, I guess. Interesting. Apparently, we can't. Hmm. It's not in one of these, so... That's a bit weird. Or is it? Did I... Did I miss that? Can I activate windmill taxes? Oh, we can probably do that through the bailiff. Or not. I don't know. Interesting. We'll have to find that out. Four newcomers. Oh, that's nice. Let's get four newcomers. Let's give them jobs first. So at least some stuff gets done. Uh, let's put one in there. We'll put people in the uh, hop farms. And we'll get another carpenter for now. That should be it. At the tax office maybe. That's a smart thing. But I don't think so. Select a mandate. No. Because that's the uh, manor house. This is also where the tax office is collected. I think. This is the treasury. Tax office. Yeah. No it's not. There. It should be in here. It could be... That we have to get rid of this one. And then we can enact the other one. The uh, milling taxes. It should be should be in here. It's not in one of these I believe. But we'll find it at some point. It's okay. We don't really need it. We have to start building the monastery soon. Is this one... Oh yeah. It's clearing out the area slowly. But there's, yeah, there's three woodcutters in there. They have 50 wood in there. Maybe we could use an extra storage for the wood. Sorry, a little cough there. 
All right, let's go. Let's build a storage here for some extra wood storage. Oh, we're out of coins. <laughs> oh, well. Should be good. Upkeep. Upkeep is getting higher and higher. I'm not trading that much, so the traders should come in. Got to eat. All right. Uh, enjoy uh, the food. The uh, cottage pie will probably be good. Housing insufficiency. All right. We'll have to get some extra housing going. Did I miss a live premiere earlier today? I didn't see it suggested until I came on for this stream. No, you did not miss a premiere. Um, I've set this up somewhere Thursday, I believe, this stream. Uh, so this one has been on for uh, quite a while already. Uh, but you did not miss a uh, live stream. It's Saturday, so the uh, normal Ostrif video came out and it did. So that worked. This was announced already quite a while ago but um, sometimes uh, I believe YouTube is sometimes reworking things right now because uh, it's the same when I uploaded new videos some members all of a sudden would not see that and then apparently like one or two days ago again new uploads would finally appear in the feed again so it said live on it maybe I was just a glitch because this one was already live and well can't be two places at once no that's true uh, no, there is no... Um, I'm not live. Maybe somebody else is uh, is live. But uh, no, it was just episode 4, I believe, from the map 6 series that I'm doing. Ah, we have the first hop growing. That's cool. And enjoy your stream, uh, Donny, once it's up. I don't know if you'll be here before that. So enjoy your new stream. We'll come right after this one. I have to zoom in a bit in this game every now and then. I always forget that. But look at this. Very bustling market. Courier is approaching. That could always mean trouble. Alright. I think we're using a lot of planks and a lot of stone. And that's why we're not trading so much. And that's costing us a lot of money. So I think we should find ways to trade more goods. We have a lot of meat. So let's trade meat above 100. Or 150 maybe. That might be better. Since we have so much. Let's trade. No we can't trade bread yet. Can I unlock a new trade route? That's also a possibility. Yes. Very good. And there we can also sell bread. So let's start selling some bread. Oh we have a lot of boar too. Let's trade boar above 150. That should make us some money. Let's trade some bread above 150. Not too many. Yep. We can trade cheese, but we don't have that much. We're not going to trade cheese yet. Beer. Not going to trade beer. Why would they suggest us to trade beer? That's not good. Alright, well, we should be able to make some extra money now. We have a messenger. Polished stone surplus for beer. Neighboring villagers want to trade a surplus of beer gifted by the monks they are tending to. The folks are in desperate need of polished stone, which you seem to have in fair numbers. Ooh, we get 75 beer for it. Alright. Uh, I'm going to stock up on the polished stone now. And then we'll get 75 beer for free. I like that. We still have a housing insufficiency. Let me put on the uh, undesirable neighborhood area thing. And then we'll assign some extra residential areas here. Because I think people might also want to uh, start living in this area now. Close to all the jobs that they have here. Yep, see, there's immediately a house popping up. So this can be good to actually do it a bit like this. And let's see if they can actually go far enough out here. I think so. But they can't go too far up here. Now this is the um, the little forest. So this is where the uh, forestry is. So I also don't want them to go up there too far. Maybe a little bit. We can do it a bit like this maybe. All right, let's see if this helps out. This should already be better. A merchant is requesting an audience. Wheat for the king. Uh, no, I don't want to get... Uh... Nope, not interested. Bye. Deliver the polished stone. 
Well, we have a 90 already. All right, let's turn this off again. Yeah, they're immediately building a lot of houses here. So that's a fix. All right, let's see. I've considered this as my next game, but I'm quite interested in Stranded Deep. Also, I think this one is still pricey. Not sure. Yeah, that's up to you. I can't really... Uh, I can't really tell you anything about it, so... Uh, I mean, you, you you know how this game is. I can't decide for you whether it's pricey or not, so that's up to you. All right, Fortress is still not done. I think we should send out a bunch of soldiers again, because we have... One, two... Oh, we have only three fully trained. The rest are mostly trained. So we have to wait still a bit for them to train again. Well, let's build up these houses. Oh, we already have four people without a job. Let's give them a job. One, two, three, four. Here we get a bunch of new ones. Very good. <laughs> we are not gods. No, you're not. All right, let's get carpenters and hop farmers. And now we have one person available. Let's get an extra stonemason. Or no, an extra transporter in this warehouse. And then we're going to store a lot of trees here. So that we cut even more. I would like that very much. And I also want more planks. But I don't know if I can store them actually. Thirty-eight ninety-nine. I guess that's Canadian dollars. I don't know what's that in uh, what that is in in uh, in our Dutch currency, but uh, in euros. So I can't help you with that. Sorry about that. Hey, PSV only demigods. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice of you to join us. I hope all is well. So we see our farms busy. We have almost have the polished stone now. So that is good. We just need a stonemason in here too. So we still need to get an extra worker. Or a lot of extra people. Ah, they're building houses here too now. Very good. The uh, fortress is getting built further and further. We actually have most of the stuff set up here already. Now they are building the extra training dummies. That's cool. Well, it's starting to look more and more like a real fortress. I saw workers and resources when I was browsing. It's 51 e, but the game is too complicated for me anyways. Well, then it's a simple choice for such a complicated game. <laughs> I'm still really hoping that Roadhog will get into the uh, video making and starts to make a bunch of good tutorials for me so that I can get into the game and I can stream it. I would love to be able to do that, but right now, way too complicated. All right, that's our soldiers. Here's our uh, nice training camp. Very nice. And the more dummies we have, the more soldiers can train at the same time. So more and more should be trained up soon. We have one, two, three, four fully trained up now. So that is something. We just need a bit more. Here comes another house. Also very good. Is there a bunch of new people incoming? Yep, there's a bunch of new people walking our way. And a new till can be heard. What's that? Berry surplus. There is no more pleasant sight than a mountain of berries. We have only 200, but okay. Very well. Now that I see that, we only have 200 berries. So apparently we need to up the production. Because we're eating more berries than we are producing right now. That is a problem. Alright, let's deliver the polished stone. Yep, we got... 75 beer for it. We can now no longer stock the uh, stones. Alright, that works. And now we have to get working on extra berries because this is going to be a problem if we don't fix that. Now, another way to fix that, of course, is to just build a monastery and produce berries in there. That is one of the next things that we are about to do. But we're not there yet, so... Still need more trees to be removed before we can actually uh, build a monastery and see what we're doing there. So I'm just hoping that they will remove a lot more trees here soon. They are working on it. That's the good news, but uh, it's going to take time. I do like the fact that we uh, seem to be having a quite a big town now with 335 people all packed in this area. So it's, it's quite crowded. 
All right, 26.767 euros. Well, I guess that's an, for Dutch standards. I think that's an okay price for a game like this. Maybe could be like 1999, but um, I guess it's not too bad. All right, let's get... We're not going to get extra woodcutters because we're just going to destroy this one because it's way out of place. So uh, that's going to just go and then those people can live somewhere else. Now I need to check because I need one, two, three, at least three commoners. So we do one, two, three. Promote, promote, promote. There we go. And then we can give these all the commoner jobs that we have to. Let's get one extra transporter and do it like this. Okay, everybody has a job again. And we should now be producing hops in nice numbers. Yep, we already have quite a bit of hops. And this granary should be up too. So let's get uh, hops in here. And get weed in here. And store the beer in here. Kingdom exemplar tier reached. Oh wow, we now have so many points with the kingdom. It's a bit scary actually. You can now basically almost unlock everything because of the big fortress we have. The clergy really, really hates us now. That's going to be a problem. But if we build a big monastery, we can make that better again. It just takes some time. But the training grounds here are done. We can see our soldiers are really training in this fortress. This is going to be a training fortress. And then maybe later on we can build a big stone fortress as the uh, real, real money making fighting fortress. Ah, but this looks good. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fully trained soldiers. All right, let's go on a mission. What can we get from this? Only gold. Ultimate, the king's pledge. Oh, wow, that's a hard one. If we go for average, let's let's wait a bit. Average, gold coins, cloth, planks, and wax. Tools, common clothes. Now, all these missions have different rewards, as you can see here. Here we get weed and berry brew and flour, milk, meat. Extremely difficult. I'm also sometimes looking for missions where you get um, the reward like weapons, but we don't have that. So let's prepare five troops for this easy mission. One, two, three, four. We'll do five fully trained soldiers. Now we do seven. All the fully trained soldiers go on a mission so that they can get better. That's already something. So send the troops. There they go. And then we'll see how well it will go. Now that the troops go on a mission. We should get an increase in text build up. So that's nice. And now that I have the time. Let's check. Because I can see that this building is almost filled up with taxes. There's actually quite a lot of buildings. Very close to completely filling up with taxes. So we need another tax office. Oh we have a coins surplus. That's cool. So right now we're going to build another tax office. And that can be pretty easy. Add a sub building, a tax office. Oh, look at this. This looks cool. A stone office. Okay. Can we just build this as a tax collector right here? That will be interesting. Let's give it a door. Does this work? Yeah, all right. So here we have just an extra tax office. And that will help collect all the taxes. That's nice. Take four live pigs. Mark them clearly. One, two, four, five. Let them loose in a supermarket. Sit back and watch everybody looking for pig number three. <laughs> oh, no, that's a real Cooper. <laughs> oh, very good. All right, basically there are no things that make them unhappy, like unable to get services, no housing, stuff like that. They all have what they want. They just hate my taxes. Well, that's their problem. King Pounds. <laughs> Probably Canadian pounds or something like that. All right, we have new people in. Let's get some extra foragers because we need to get the berries up again. And do we also have... We have one unemployed person. Let's put that in the wood cutting business. All right, there we go. Then let's see. This is done for now. 
And ah, they're slowly clearing the area. Maybe we should just start the monastery here already for a bit. I think we can do like the main building already. And then um, they can keep clearing while we start building it. All right, let's see. We need a chapel, of course. But we also need dorms and stuff. Let's start maybe with the chapel. I always like to get all these things ready. All right, there we go. Let's see the chapel. Rustic hall. Chapel capacity is 20. 16. 16. Okay. Rustic hut. No, we don't want a hut. We want to build a big chapel here. All right, where's the... Uh, where's that dot I placed? I don't know. We'll just build it somewhere here. We're going to remove the woodcutter later on anyway. Let's build a big chapel. Let's raise it a bit. Needs a big stone tower, of course. Um, can we put a cross on there? Yes, but we just have to uh, turn the stone tower then. I don't really like this tower, actually. Does not really look like... Yeah, this is better. This looks more like a uh, stone tower with a bell in it than the other one did. Uh, no. Can we raise this? Oh, come on. I want to raise this building. Right. All right. There we are. Now, this is at least a start. Now, if we're going to have a lot of monks, we need a bigger chapel. So this should be the whole chapel area, I guess. And it needs an entrance. It can just have like a wooden entrance. All right, this could be a start of the church. And then soon enough, we'll build the monk dorms and stuff. But for now, this is okay. Our soldiers are victorious. Always good to read that. They're on their way back. There's, they're experts at Astroneer now. Watch out for the A-team space rovers. Hey, Lava. Very true. And nice of you to join us. I hope you're all good. All right. Oh, they're clearing this. Wood's very good. So the uh, farm here can do a great job. The hop farm can soon do a great job. Um... Let me check again. Because now we do have hops. So I want to see that too. And we have good amount. We have 143 beers. So what we can do here. They're now selling berry brew. We can later on also start selling beer. One, two, three newcomers. Let's get three extra foragers. I was just wondering if you would make it today. Uh, are you talking to Lava or about whether I would survive long enough to make it to today with this game? <laughs> Alright, those foragers can't have a living space right now. But hey, that's their problem, not mine. I was talking to Lava, yes. Alright, alright. I'm sorry. <laughs> Storage full. Oh, that's fine. It's sunny spring day, airing out the compound. Nice. A sunny spring day. That sounds lovely. Wish we had that already. All right, let's see. I'm going to buy this zone too. Just so that this all locks in. Mission of success. We got some coins. Okay, well, we got the good stuff. The weaponsmith. We can make swords in there. For every five territories you purchase while this effect is active, redeem one for free. Now well, let's unlock the weaponsmith first. That sounds nice. So now we can build a weaponsmith if we want to. Not there yet. Want to get some more polished stones. We get more planks now. That is good. So I like that. And let's see the weaponsmith we have here. It needs one iron, one charcoal and a tool. And we need citizens to actually do that. So we need to get people one more tier up. We're not there yet. But that can be very nice. Let's do some more prospecting. So we know what is everywhere. 
Let's check our soldiers again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fully trained. Well, if we have an easy mission, yep. We can do that and prepare the troops for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Donny Danger is still wounded, so he's wounded for a very long time. Somebody should send a medic over to him. But at least a bunch of other soldiers now go on a mission too. How good will that be? Tomorrow there's a special stream. Yeah, here we have Shuriel, Edge of Silence and Wifey will play together in Astroneer. That will be so much fun. I am so looking forward to that. That will be amazing. But hey, we are here. We are now. I see 15 people watching. Thank you all so much for tuning into this stream. I hope you have a great time. And uh, feel free to mingle in chat or just lurk around. Both are fine. You don't have to talk, of course. And... Uh, if you have any suggestions, you can always leave them. I will try to respond to them and hopefully incorporate them as well. As I am now building this nice quartz quarry. Let's hope we can do that too. So thanks so much. If you want to help me out even more, please hit that little like button. That's a big help for me. Because that will uh, make this video rank higher in the YouTube algorithms. And of course, more and more people can find my channel then. For me, that would be nice. Let's see, another warehouse that goes with this so that we can store the quartz. We should be able to get some glass too then at some point for in the monastery. Three new people, let's see. What jobs do we have? We have two transporter jobs, that's it. But still, soon we have the stone quarry. There's still a food stall that they need to build. Did they not build that yet? Oh, I forgot to click build. There we go. Oh, that was a mistake. Got a new device hooked up zapper book from the DVR antenna TV. Turner is really good in it. I don't know what that means, but uh, glad you got a new device. <laughs> All right, numbers of berries still stable, but we still need more. Fish is also stable now, but I also want some more. Bread is good. We have mm, bits of cheese. Clothing is still okay. So most things are okay, but we could really use some extra berries again. Now here's a good amount of berries. You know that you run a, you run a little risk if you start running low on berries, because berries are just the main source of food you have. So make sure you get enough of those. And especially when the rain comes, you will run out of berries fairly quickly. One, two, three, four, five. We got no cows in there. Maybe it's time to get some cows in there. Back in our day, we had antennas and VHF, UHF. Yeah, I, I, I know that. I know that. But um, sometimes my English is not good enough to understand what you exactly mean. So I don't know what a zapper box is. And Turner is really good in it. I don't know who Turner is. So that's probably why. <laughs> oh we still have oh yeah we have one person available to us ah that's okay we'll soon get more jobs out and i think this is going to cost us a lot of resources yep a lot of stones and planks and stuff so before that is built that will take time and because we are going to build a very big monastery it might actually be good to get a builder's hut here so that we have builders close to the monastery yeah but with a hundred mile antenna 30 feet up in the air so sort of but not streaming in that stick <laughs> oh well let's start selling some cheese there i think we have a lot of milk so we can get another cheese maker Yeah, let's get another... Oh, the people don't like to live close to a cheesemaker, though. We'll just make it fit in here, then. At least we'll get extra cheese, then, with all the milk that we have. And it kind of looks like we could also use one extra windmill, since we have a lot of wheat and not a lot of flour. People don't mind living next to a windmill. 
So we can just easily build this somewhere close to the other one, I think. Let's build it right there. All right, what's that? Two newcomers request an audience. Well, you are most welcome, newcomers. Here comes the tax office, finally. Oh, we have two jobs for the newcomers here. So they can also be builders. What's wrong with living close to a cheesemaker? Um, well, I guess a lot of things in, in this game go to like cheesemakers of old, where there's probably a lot of noise, people working all day long there, and the smells and stuff like that. So people don't really want to live next to it. It's like right now people sometimes think, oh, it would be so cool if I would live next to a bakery. But I guess if you really live next to a bakery and the people get up very early in the morning and then uh, the carts arrive to deliver all the goods and then... You have that smell all day long, you, you get sick and tired of it. So I think it's something like that. I've tried a few different TV tuners with DVR. Zapper box is pretty new and better than others than expected and still in development. Ah, okay. You ever lived in France? <laughs> yeah, France has it. Has the world record for stinking cheese. Very nice cheeses, though, but uh, boy, do some smell. But I myself am a very big cheese lover, so I'm not going to complain about it. I can eat cheese all day. All right, let's start making the village look a bit better, I think. So let's make a nice arch here and there. Let's get some decos going. These are all the trees, right? Yeah. Let's get some trees all over town because we don't have a lot of trees yet. I have to make a few lanes with the trees, I think. Bushes here and there. there. Needs to be some nature in our town, I guess. These are like popsicle trees or something. Ostrif lanes. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I always forget about all the decorations that there are in this game, so I just need a reminder sometimes or accidentally run into them and then I think, oh yeah, I should definitely plant some trees. Common path driving tier reach. So we have tier 300. That is the last one. So now we can unlock everything there is, which is nice. Oh, we can already get candles and common wares, but we have not put any effort into that. Oh, my mistake. Common wares. We need planks and iron for it. And people don't mind living next to it, so that is a good thing. Uh, but here's the iron industry, so maybe we should build these somewhere here. I'm going to start with two. Oh, we're out of money. Oh, that's because of all the decorations, but we make a ton of money. <laughs> so let's just wait and we can build that too. Two newcomers request an audience. Oh, well, you are most welcome. Let's get them in the foraging business for now. Then soon enough, we should be able to build the other common wares shop. I love cheese, but I couldn't call myself a connoisseur or anything. Oh, I'm not calling myself that, but... Uh, I do eat almost one kilogram of cheese each week. Yeah, they have benches and yeah, one of the best areas I've made is this. So here you have a fountain or a little pond and they can sit around it and they actually sit on it. I remember when I bought this game that that wasn't the case and now people will actually sit somewhere. So I will soon put some more effort into decorating the whole area with benches and stuff. Can't even say connoisseur, let alone know what it means. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> Oh, 
Waiting for the builder. Yeah, they're all busy. Busy, busy, busy. Are they already building the... Oh, they're building the monastery. Cool. Look at the night crane they put up on the monastery. The quartz deposit is ready. I like this, how they put the crane in here to actually build this whole monastery. This is so cool. I am tempted to send Patma some cheese. <laughs> well, I still have four kilograms in my refrigerator, so uh, don't worry about that. I um, I buy cheese online from a, from a cheese farm. Uh, and I buy it in, 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 uh, I always buy six kilograms packed in, uh, one kilogram pieces. So, um, and, and we last a little over a month with that. So that's good. <laughs> ah, let's build the, uh, common wares shop, cheesemaker build, market changes are complete. So many things we get done now. Ah, so many things happening. So many structures we have up. We're still short in people. What kind of cheese? This is, um, oh, what's the, uh, it's named after a town in, in Holland where they make it. And it's old cheese, of course, uh, ripened for at least 15 months, but mostly is two years. And it's, uh, I always look for a cheese that is, um, um, very old, but you can still cut it with the cheese uh, slicer. So you can get really old cheese that if you start cutting it, it will just crumble. That's that's just a little too old. That's very good for if you just want to eat a little piece of cheese. But I like to put it on my bread and stuff. Uh, so I have cheese that is very old, but not too old that you can't normally cut it anymore. Ah, newcomers. Most welcome. One, two. Ah, they're coming in smaller numbers now. Uh, I need a market tender and, of course, a tax collector. So let's promote Jake Mina and make her oops, a tax collector because I want more taxes to be collected. That is nice. Now we have the extra tax collector. That should help get... Yeah, some taxes aren't even collected. So having the second one was very needed, but very good. Oh, cheese farm. That sounds nice. We have one about 20-30 minutes from here, but they're expensive, so I can't go there a lot. Yeah, well, in Holland, they used to be quite expensive. And if you buy in small amounts, it's still quite expensive. But in Holland, in the supermarkets, cheese prices have gone up really a lot. And I found a very good cheese farm with, with reasonable prices. So I pay just as much for one kilogram of old cheese as you would pay in the supermarket for... Uh, cheese that is only like half a year old and in a supermarket you get factory cheese and this is some actually some actual real cheese so you can really really taste the difference it's such a huge difference in taste i don't know why people buy cheese in the supermarket except for um when you don't have the money to buy real cheese because it just ugh. supermarket cheese is so bad Okay, so this industrial area is nice. We are slowly have a little increase in berries. That's good. But we still have so many jobs to do. <laughs> well, I have to pace myself too when I have cheese. Because I just love cheese so much. But um, that's true. Alright, the chapel is built. So now soon, I'm going to give them a little bit of time to uh, stock up on some stones again. And then we're going to build the, the the dorms and stuff. And then later on, we can also build the monastic garden with the herbs and also the um, berries. That will be very nice. Well, right now, ah, mission is a success. We brought some nice goodies from the mission with the uh, soldiers. Right here, if you buy, if you go to the store, you pay somewhere between 12, 50 euros and 15 euros for a kilogram of, of average cheese. 
so that's that's like the normal price here ever had a cheese fondue yeah but the cheese they use for that i don't like so mm, no hunt outlaws gems jewelry and wine gold coins cloth planks wax tools and common clothes common wares and candles hmm one two three four five six seven eight fully trained soldiers Donnie danger is still wounded come on dude do something about it I uh, will send some troops on an average mission then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least they will now be able to get better. So that is something. And we can get some herbs and honey and stuff. So that will be nice. Oh, PSV, I have a question for you because I don't think you're in my game yet. Is there a job you would prefer so I can put you in my game? Uh, with your name, that is, of course. I mean, we have Kevin and Roadhog working the tavern. We have Herodev as a fisher. And so different peoples have places. And the same goes for you, Lava. Is there a job that you would like? Like be a cheesemaker, be in the quartz mine or whatever. Just name it so I can put you into the game. That would be so nice. At least I would enjoy that. I don't know if you would, but uh, I would. <laughs> uh, let's get extra foragers. Now we have built another storage. We've put one worker in it. It's this storage. Yeah. All right. So this is where the quartz should go in. And that should then be turned into glass at some point. We don't have the glass maker yet, but at least we have the mine up. All right. We have the common ware shop. What does the candle shop need? Wax, iron and tools. We don't have wax yet. I think we have to get beehives in the monastery then. So that is something. Cheesemaker. I'll never splutch on the product. Great spot. <laughs> Cheesemaker. All right. Well, let's see. Should be able to actually do that. We should have more cheesemakers. That is. Charcoal hut, gathering hut, hop farm, sawmill, wheat farm. Cheesemaker. All right. Let's go to the cheesemaker. Let's see. Petronella and Teresa. Oh, that's too lady so that's not very handy so as soon as we have a boy available i'll put him in the new cheese maker and you can be in the cheese maker tax collector for me ah okay um let's see the tax office does it have a boy or a girl this is a girl and oh wifey is the other one <laughs> well you have to be a girl this time because I can't change that, but at least you're in the game. Just don't look at your picture. There we are. Commonware shop build. Very nice. So we can now get commonwares soon, hopefully. <laughs> we had beef fondue tonight. Oh, nice. I did a fondue with sweet and sour sauce, dipping meat cuts and cheese. Very good. Ooh, nice. Yeah, someday I want to take a little one to a cheese maker so she can see how all our cheese is made. She really loves cheese just like I do, so that's really cool. I really enjoy that. Gratin potatoes avec cheese. Uh, very nice, very nice. Well, cheese can go on a lot of stuff. We eat, uh, we had wraps today with some some meat and then uh, uh, onions, paprika, that kind of stuff in it. And then you can also put a little bit of sliced cheese in it. That's nice. And of course, you can put a bit on your pasta or whatever. Cheese can go with a lot of stuff. I really like that. All right, here come the newcomers. Let's be sure there is a man in there so that we can make him a cheesemaker and name him Lava. Let's see. Walkerlene. Yeah, there it is. Confirm. And now we have to make you in the... Uh, oh, we have to promote him. Otherwise, she can't be in the cheesemaker. And now he can be a cheesemaker. There you go. Very good. Um, but I need more. I need another commoner. 
So I'll promote you too. And make you a cheesemaker as well. There we go. Yeah, it was a nice video. There's also, uh, I have a little one, I have a little video about how they make cheese that's made for kids. And I've shown that to a little one and she really enjoyed that too. It's like uh, for my kids program where they explain a lot of stuff in Holland. And they really enjoyed watching how they make cheese and drop and all these other things. I love all those types of videos. Alright, do we have another batch of soldiers ready? Nope. But Donny Danger is no longer wounded, finally, so he can train up and become a real soldier again. That'll be great. Alright, let's go to our monastery, because we have to get the uh, dorms up for the nunks. For the nunks. <laughs> Sorry about that. For the monks and the nuns. For the nunks. Hmm. Alright, let's build some monk dorms. Uh, let's see. At capacity 8, capacity 5, capacity 8... Then we'll do uh, rustic quarters, minor or major? Major. We need to build a big monastery. All right, there we go. Too far. Don't complain about too far. All right, here we go. I think we'll build uh, two monk dorms to move them slightly over. Yes, they need a door. Um, built. Then let's get it off. Then do it again. And then we built the non -dar dorms. The nun dorms. We'll attach them to it. They also get a door. So now they have all have a place to live. That's cool. On a break, stopping in to like and say hi. Hey! quirky nice of you to join us on a break are you at work or something or just a break from household chores or what is it well happy to have you here how are you doing today still getting better and better we have a show here called how it's made and i enjoy it yeah we have that here too in the discovery channel i believe also very nice All right, let's check our taxes. Are they now more and more collected? Yes, all right, very good. But we do need more space to keep all the money, though, because we still have more room for that. So let's add a sub-building to the tax office, which will be a treasury. 30, 60, 90, 150. I don't know. I don't think it should go with this because this doesn't look so cool. We could just add a tower to this, maybe, but uh, that's it. I don't want to add a big building to it. I like it just this small. Imagine if Donny would have to carry all the wound in real life. I think it should not be nice. <laughs> maybe it's time that they invent a machine where you can... Uh, let me check for a second, though, because I don't know if... Oh, yeah, he's working here. Okay, very good. Dieta is unemployed, it says. Well, then get into the cheese-making business. Um, I don't know if um, they already invented such a thing, but it would be very nice if they could invent something so that you can actually feel the pain like when you game. You have like these steering wheels for um, Formula 1 cars and stuff that actually shake and stuff when you play a game. They should get that stuff for Donny when he plays his game. That if he, he dies, he get a real shock and something like that. Maybe that will help him to, to get better. Then you have a real incentive to play careful. Did you see the baby episode? <laughs> Well, the decos here are taking a bit more shape. I like it. Especially if you can zoom in a bit. You can see, really see the scale of the trees. I like it. They're, they're very well done. So yeah, this looks better. 
Ooh, a messenger. Hops surplus for iron. Relatives of your village learned of your hops surplus and would like to trade you some in exchange for iron. Do we need iron? Uh, we have iron ore. I can't see iron yet. Oh, let's fix that so we know how much iron we have. Then we can actually make an educated guess on this. We have only two iron left. So yeah, we could use that. That's a deal. Accumulate 150 hops inside a storage facility. And right now we have 100. All right, it's a deal. Let me just stock up on hops now. Oh, it says we have 200. Oh, but it's not in the... Uh no, it's not in the granary. Ah, we have to build another granary to actually be able to do that. Well, let's do so. Let's build a granary. Let's prioritize it. Oh, we have a lot of beer. Well, a thing we could do is just change this out and start selling beer here. Yeah, do it anyway. So that we actually use some of the beer that we have. That could be nice. Isn't this called an electric chair? Well, that's uh, that's uh, usually a... Um, a one time only <laughs> that might be a little bit too harsh Ooh, unraveling the mystery tax you learn Devonport is imposing a new taxation law on traded goods its details are mysterious but you know it is yielding considerable profits without impacting commerce if you were to crack its secret such a tax could greatly benefit your village we'll figure it out as we trade trade for a hundred worth of resources with Devonport Ooh, let me check Devonport which is that that's this one. I don't think we trade too much with them, actually. So that's not too handy. Let my bailiff investigate. Devonport trade route has been blocked. New edict privileges unlocked. Okay. One of the elders will tell us. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, let's just find out as we trade. That's the easiest option. We'll do that. Buying a ring is the ultimate sex killer. I guess that depends on where you put the ring, but okay. Let's hope more and more people are still willing to join us. As we are now building this granary, that's good. Then we can store the hops and deliver it to the... Uh, to the people for some extra iron. I would so much like that. I guess our common shops, commonware shops need more iron too. So we need to work on iron. Empty coffee alarm sounds. Ooh, yeah, I want some more coffee too. <laughs> Four newcomers. Yay, that's good jobs. And we can soon put them in the transporting business here, I hope. That will be perfect. We just need two though, I think. But let's wait. Ooh, big, big barrels of beer being made there. Let's get two people in. Let's store extra hops. And some extra beer so that we can have a lot of everything. There we go. Now let's see if they will actually pick it up. Yeah, these are both completely filled up with hops. While they do that, we'll get two extra um, miners, I guess. Yeah, let's put people in the quartz mine and get an extra miller. Oh, there's still no hops in here, but I think there they come. So they should now be picking up the hops. There he is. Picking up hops and putting it in. Yep, there we are. All right, let's deliver the hops. There we go. We now get 50 iron. I love that. We can really use that. Let's make sure that they don't stock the hops anymore. There we go. All right, this is good. Slowly we see an increase in berries again. So that is working out. But we could still use more berry fields. Or start working on the monastic garden at some point. We also need more iron. Which is up here. Can we buy some zones? Yes. Let's do that. Let's start working on this. Because we do need a lot more iron actually. To fulfill all the iron needs that we have. So let's get working with that. Then I guess we have to build another small village again here. In order to uh, get everything done. 
But that's for next time. Ah, our soldiers are back. The mission was victorious. Great, great, great. Let's build another builder's office somewhere here. So that we have more and more builders. Since we are constructing so many buildings all the time. Trading for the mystery tax. We've only traded 94. Let's see what we have at Devonport. We can sell berry, stone, planks. No, that's Northbury. Oh, we can sell some stuff to them. Bread, maybe. Maybe some beer. Are we selling beer? I think we are. No, not yet. All right, let's sell beer above 100. So that we can sell beer to them. 125, actually. 150, yeah, that's it. All right, there we go. Where are you from? Devonport? Are you from Devonport? Northbury, okay. Well, you're not the right trader for us, but... Uh, trader from middle... Then the next one, there he is. He should be from Devonport. Yep. Well, let's see if we can sell him some goods. That'll be helpful. And then we'll see. Well, at least we have our nice fortress. So I like that. Soldiers are really training well. That's good. And we're started on a monastery. So at least the title for the stream is right. Have you guys and girls have any suggestions, questions, uh, things you want to see me do, whatever? Let me know. I'll take a zip from my drink. Okay, I'm fully back. Oh, we already found three gems in the mountains, which is really nice. Let's wait until these people arrive. Merchant is approaching, so there's somebody else. Oh, there's only two newcomers. That's not much. Let's make them builders so we can construct more buildings. Your soldiers were victorious. We got some honey, we got herbs, some coins. Really nice. What is this? Stone Rampart. Okay. Well, let's unlock this first. That's better. I think it's time for a few more decorations in the shape of some extra benches, I think. So that people have more places where they can actually sit and relax and stuff. Well, they do cost money, but that's okay. I wish this would stay open while building the decos, because it's you have to really open this up every time and again. That you build one. And sometimes I just want to click this one and then build that one. So that makes it a bit harder, but um, eh, not too many complaints, but... Um, oh, they're also sitting on the... Uh, Fountain. Did you see that? There was a guy sitting on the fountain. That was so cool. Alright, let's keep an eye on it. Well, I also placed some benches here. Yeah, see, there's one sitting on the... Uh... How cool is that? We we'll built two benches here. Uh... Let's place some flowers here. Sit, relax and watch YouTube on their phone. Nice. Nice big tree in a pot. It's also good to spend some coins since we have so many anyways. Now we have a nice little place here. People sitting on the bench. They're actually creating a road here now. I like this. This is nice. Oh, we have a lot of messengers. Iron ore for the king. No way. No way. Celebrating berries. Let's host the berry fair. Ah, we now have 500 berries again. It's really picking up. All right, we'll host a berry fair. We now have traded 219. Okay. Well, we're getting there. When I watch on my phone PSV, it's always a bugger. Try chat. Yeah, that's hard. That's hard to chat. But, uh, oh well. Still, it can be really nice. 
I think we need an extra iron smelter. That could really help out in making sure that we get more... Uh, more iron ore. Or more iron. We have iron ore. That's good, so... Missing raw materials. That's okay. Alright, the hop farms are producing well. The trees are gone here now. I like that. Guess what we have to do now? Just tell them to cut these trees as well. Otherwise, those trees won't be cut. There we go. We can then tell them to not cut them anymore in this zone. Because, hey, there are no trees here. That's better. Oh, there's a lot of zones that are completely emptied out from the trees. And most people know that I love that. I don't really like all those trees, so let's try and get rid of them. I love trees, just not in the way of where I'm building and stuff. And I guess with all the construction work that we do, we are generating a lot of uh, planks and stuff, and that's also making it so that we really need a lot of wood. And that's why this whole area is now cleared already. So I like that. We've cleared a lot of areas from trees. That's perfect. Yeah, let's leave those few trees here. No, they're not going to do that. Ha ha ha. My dad likes it, so I set it up. Nice to use what know about it once you set that up. Yeah, that's true. Oops, let's not forget about these newcomers, otherwise they'll leave. Yeah, let's use extra miners. We need 25 coins to unlock that. Oh, that will take some time. Ah, the um, monk dorms are ready. They're now still building their non-dorms. That's cool. Alright. Should we build the monastic garden already if we can? I think so. Herbs. I think the garden should be somewhere here. We just need to make sure that there's plenty of space. So that they don't get in each other's way when they work on it. One, two... Three, four, one. I like it to be big. Well, and let's also get these berry planters. So that we can get berries from the monastery too. This looks nice. I also think I want to add doors on this side then. So that they can actually... Oh, we can't do that yet. Okay. Well, let's build it like this. We can always just edit these buildings. No, we're not going to switch the function. Now we should soon get some... Um, nuns and monks in the monastery too. <laughs> Already a bit short in uh, people, but um, we'll get people in the monastery too. Swedish astronomer Andres Celsius died in 1744, the age of 43, though his rival Fahrenheit was convinced he was 103. <laughs> oh boy. It is a good one, Cooper. Well, we have a lot of workplaces in progress. The berry planters and the herbs, that's cool. Alright, let's get an extra builder, let's get an extra miller. And let's get two extra miners. That's it. Delighted visitors. Well, the visitors are happy. That's good. We have a bit shortage in food. What are we short of then? We have basically all the foods. 
It's probably a transport problem. And I think we need an extra market soon again. In order to... Oh, we can sell common wares here now, by the way. I think we need an extra market because there's just too many people buying from the same market pieces and then people will not be, they will run out of food all the time. So we do need an extra market somewhere. Maybe build one somewhere here because there's a lot of people living here. And with the extra market, they will not all buy from that one market. So that is better. So let's start building a marketplace right here. One. Berries, fish cheese and uh, bread and then we also need to start selling some clothes and then for the special wares they can go somewhere else i don't mind all right here we have another market let's go It's weird how add on to the buildings that way, but they messed a few people up. Well, maybe, but um, it, it actually is one of the things I love so much about this game that you have these buildings that you keep expanding all the time. And I think it's also a bit accurate. I mean, you can start off with a small building and then your production facilities grow or whatever. And you can, you can just keep growing the building. I like that a lot. Oh, the polished fountain is built. Very nice. So that some buildings can be expanded to me is really great. It's just, it gives me so much pleasure doing that in this case. All right. Well, I hope they can build this marketplace quickly. So let's prioritize it because uh, then we have an extra food source for the people. There's also a well here that they could use for a drink. So that's nice too. And we just have to make sure that we do keep having plenty of food. What we have right now. But as you can see with the berries. There's no berries in here yet. So there's a lot of people coming in to buy goods. So let's give that market a break by building an extra one. And still, thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy. I know I enjoy streaming this greatly and I have a lot of fun with the chat. So thanks so much. Feel free to give any suggestions or things like uh, questions. If you want to know something or if something is not clear, just ask me. I'll answer it. And then, uh, of course, if you are in for some more action, you want to see somebody die all the time, go over to Donny Danger's channel. He's streaming right now. Hell, that loose. After this stream, I'm definitely going there to check his stream out. All right, let's see. Three new people. We need market tenders, so let's get them. One extra in the warehouse. That's a start. All right, let's start here with berries and bread, I think. Yes. We are running lower and lower on the bread, though, so I think... I think we have only one baker at this point, but we can check that. Yep. So it is time for an extra baker. To make sure that we get plenty of bread now. We need a bit more. Would be interested if you had to repair buildings over time as they degrade. Yeah, or build a repair shop or something like that. That, that could add something to the game. I, I definitely think so, yeah. All right, let's check our soldiers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fully trained. I think if we wait a bit, we can do a very difficult mission. That could be fun, I think. I'm actually looking for ones where we can get, uh, yeah, swords and spears. But I don't really need swords right now. I need spears. But I think it would be nice if we could do a little bit more difficult mission. I'll be over to Donny Dangerous Gaming Stream 2. Well, that's good. I'll be um, ending this stream then uh, strictly at 9. So that I have my two full hours done. And then um, I hope we can really uh, have fun at Donny's stream. I don't want to uh, stream for too long. I want him to... Uh, I want to be at his stream too. So we're not going to go on for too long. So uh, somewhere around 9 we'll quit. That's basically what I wanted to say. Alright, they're building the uh, 
patches here. The fair was very good, so everybody's really happy. We got some nice coinage and stuff for it. I like it. I just went to find Donnie's stream to have unmuted, and I see Midnight streaming now too. <laughs> well, we can't be with everyone. And uh, I prefer Donnie then. He is way longer with us in the channel. Uh, do cheese and clothing. And then we just need one more, I believe, for the... Uh... Oh, well, we can just do it like this. That's okay. It's like your game collection. So many and so little time to enjoy. That's true. That's true. But Midnight's already a big streamer. I want to be there to support Donnie. Oh, this is really taking shape now. I like it. Five newcomers request an audience. Finally, the big numbers. Very good. All right, let's see. Workers. Oh, do we have we fulfilled all jobs? No. There we are. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's everybody. But this is helpful. Now we're getting closer and closer. Then we get the herbalists in, but we have to just make them monks. We have the iron smelter that we want to put people in, so that should be done soon. Everybody already has a job again, so that's really fast. All right, we can sell berries here now too. That is good. Food is 8% down, so a lot of people can't get food at this point. One way to fix it is also to do a little rework of our granary system. So this is a granary that's close to the market here, and it only has berries. So what I will do... Is we're going to build a new granary that will actually pick up all the berries. We can place it right here. That's no problem. Let's prioritize it. Then we'll set this one to empty these stocks. And then from here on, we will put in bread and fish and meat so that it's closer to the market. So these market tents can just go here to pick it up. That can be really helpful in the whole transport system. So that they don't have to walk that far anymore. Same goes for this one. There's no granary close, actually. So these market tenders have to walk very far to actually get their stuff. So building a granary close and fill it with everything they need can be very helpful. So that's how we're going to fix our issues right now with the food. So a game update announced earlier. It was 16 gig. Oh wow, what game is that? YouTube can do raids called YouTube Live Redirects. Yeah, I've read something about that. I just don't know how to set that up. Um, but I, I did read about that. Uh, if, if I knew how, I could do that and, and tell people to... Uh, to do a redirect to, to Donny's channel, for instance, but uh, I don't know. We'll work on it. All right, they're building the granary here. That's great. They're emptying this one out slowly, I hope. Granary build. Very good. All right, this one will house berries and bread and not really fish because we don't have that many. Cheese the same thing. We'll do fish then, and then we'll uh, get some extra fisheries soon then. Housing insufficiency, we'll have to deal with that too. Ah, food's now down to only 4%, so it is going better. What we need now is people to actually work here. So do we have newcomers incoming? Yes. Ooh, and they're very close. That's great. That's great. Appears to be a little change in the weather though, but hmm, not sure. 
Oh no, it was in sixty or oh, ninety-one point six gigs. Wow. Luckily, I don't normally know those things. All right, let's do put two in here, and then we can put two in this one too. Let's hope this one will be emptied out shortly. So we can change the goods, or we can already change it because there's only one in here. Who cares about that one? Reassign anyway. Let's accept it. Let's get bread in here. Reassign anyway. Yes. These 22 I want to be taken out. Yeah, I have Anno 1800 too. The beginning is nice, but after a while I don't like it so much anymore. But um, it's a big game, that's true. Very true. Okay. All right. Which one is this? Ah, this is, uh, I set this up wrong. I wanted to stock up on the berries in this one. Yes. Did I? Yeah. Um, now I don't remember what I was doing actually. This one now has all the different resources, so that is good. This one is with fish, that's also good. I need to change this one out for the hops and stuff. That was what I was doing. So that this one can be emptied out. Hops, hops, beer, beer. And then we can use that one for all the resources that we actually need. That was what I was going to do. So this one needs to be emptied out and then we can put the... Uh, Food in this one, so like bread and stuff for this marketplace. So let's just wait until they do that. 1701 and 1404 have better chance. Oh, 1404 was definitely the best. That one I loved so much. That was so good. All right, the beer's emptied out. Let's put some um, meat in there. Cheese and berries. Let me put berries in here, and then this one is the cheese. Oh, really? Do all the numbers add up to nine? I did not know that, but 1404, I really had so much fun with. I still have it. That was really the, the nicest one. Okay, that one is set up. Is this one now? Yep, this one is ready now too. Let's put two workers in there. Let's set it up with all the stuff that they have here. Berries, fish, bread and cheese. Berries, fish, bread and cheese. I think it's soon time to start um, producing all these goods in greater numbers. We still have 174 milk and still no cheese apparently. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Let's put milk in here too, so that we get even more milk in and build another cheese maker. That should already be helpful to get even more cheese in. I got an 8 terabyte external that I copied to. <laughs> yeah, that's probably useful. I have a 5 terabyte extra, but that's what I use for all my recordings to put on in the end. I'm on Facebook. <laughs> Under the... <laughs> look me up. Well, you can look all you want for me on Facebook, but I'm not on. <laughs> also not with a special name. <laughs> oh boy. One, two, three people joining. Very nice. Uh, we need a lot of commoners, I guess. Yeah. We just need a lot of commoners. So let's upgrade these three. One, two, three. 
And now we can give them commoner jobs like a baker and an iron smelter. I want two iron smelters right now. That's it. I don't do social media. Well, officially, uh, YouTube is also a form of social media. And that's the only social media account I have. And that's all. I don't have any uh, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it's all called. That's why I have such a nice peaceful life. Oh, we can see a lot of people attending church here. That's so cool. It's very busy here. Nice. Discord, not social media. Oh, maybe that counts too, but I don't know. I guess it's... it's um, not a social media in a sense that you can just get ads and stuff for all different kinds of things and and i mean you just you subscribe to a certain server and that's all you're gonna see and if you have like facebook and stuff you get all this shit that you don't want to know about so i guess it's not really a channel where everybody can push stuff to you if you're not subscribed to it so i don't know if that really counts like a social media thing because basically it's limited to only that what you subscribe to and that's it I believe. So, but I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Maybe it, it counts like it. Well, if we fully zoom out, this is all we have. From the hop farms all the way to our monastery there. And our fortress, of course. We have built quite a big town, I think. I like it. Not sure Discord sells your data. Oh, that's a good uh, measurement. <laughs> I think they're all really going out to get fish. It's just that we uh, don't have a lot of fish clothes. <laughs> I might need a couple more fisheries soon. No access to food. Of course you have access to food. We have a whole market here dedicated to food. Okay, there's no food in it, but we have a market. I have to say, we do tend to make very good amounts of money. I love it. Now we just need more fisheries. Housing insufficiency. Yeah, that's going to keep going for a while. Um, maybe we can build some more houses here. Somewhat like this. And I think we can use a big piece of this land to build houses if we really want to. I wouldn't know why not, but I don't think people will want to live there. I think we can also dedicate a large portion of this towards housing. I guess it all depends on where the jobs are, which are quite much up here, but we don't really have space for housing up there. Unless we build another little village in the marketplace somewhere here, then we could do that. Hmm, not sure, but that's going to be something for the next stream, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Yay, that's a lot of people. Two. All right, let's upgrade or promote two in this case. And put them in the cheese maker. So that is done. Then all the rest goes as a miner. Oh, we can use another baker and another transporter then. So we'll upgrade one more. Promote one more. I always use the word upgrade. I don't know why. We promote one more and put it in the bakery. That will get an extra transporter for now. And then soon enough, I will start to put some people in the monastery as well. Depending on the server you're on, you'll get a lot of shit too. Yeah, that's true. But you have full control over it. If you unsubscribe from that server, then it's it's gone. And if you... um, I'm, I'm in the uh, Ostrif server, for instance. And there's like a Reddit channel. Every time somebody posts... A Reddit post somewhere, you get a notification of that. I just, um, I don't know how you really call it, but I just turned off the notifications for all those channels. So they don't bother me again. It's just those that um, I follow that I get stuff from. So I think you have some effect or some, some, you have a lot of control over it. And if you don't like a server, you just leave and you don't get it anymore. So I, I don't really think I would count Discord as a social media. Because you have a lot of control and you only see what you follow. 
And if you don't want the shit, you just don't follow it. I mean, if you don't subscribe to any channels on YouTube, you still get all these recommendations and stuff. Yeah, that's true, Lava. I also have some stuff muted. Not full servers, but some chambers in, serve, in, in servers that are just not for me. I just mute them so I don't get notifications and stuff from them. I, I like that. that uh, also the fact that you can do that. All right, food's down to minus 3%. That is manageable. Housing is 1%. So we are doing a little better there. We are now actually making sure... that uh, people have food so that's nice all right let's go to the undesirable neighborhoods so this is still undesirable i wonder if that changes if we put up more decorations there will it then get better so for instance if i place a deco here will that make it more desirable because that should be making it more beautiful probably not but um no, it has no effect. Okay. Well, then some people just have to live in an undesirable area. Which is fine. I mean, not everybody needs to be in a very good upgraded house. So, um... Have you any video jobs in the future? Uh, nothing planned yet. Uh, I'm also not accepting a lot of them. Uh, so, that might also help. Um... Nope, I don't have anything planned yet. The uh, men's choir was really happy with what I made for them for Christmas. With the Christmas um, performance that they did in the big church. They were really happy with it. So they dropped a little envelope with a little present for me, which was really nice. And they were already suggesting that... Um, or hoping that that present would convince me to, uh, to do it again next year. So I think they're going to ask me for next year again. Uh, but other than that, uh, nothing planned. And I'm also not really willing to, to do a lot more, actually. Uh, of course, if something comes up with a funeral live stream, I will do that. Uh, but not going to do any more video jobs, because I really want to focus more on the channel and growing it and having more fun with that. And um, that will also start taking some time from a funeral job, actually. I already uh, made sure that I am not as much available as I used to, so that I have more time for the channel. And I'm really looking forward to that and putting more time in. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Three hundred people right now, and we are still having a very good economy. We make a lot of money. We have a lot of food and stuff, so we're not doing that bad. I think I like it. We're actually getting some more cheese now with the extra cheese maker. We are very up with the bread now, so that works out with the extra baker. We are running a bit short on wheat now, but we should soon get a new harvest in, so that should help. And we still have 200 beer. We have a lot of hops. I do think, though, that we might benefit from one or two extra farms. All right, let me check these so that I know where the uh, fields are at. Yes. So that if I build an extra farmhouse here, it won't be in the way of anything. And the same here. Yes. And then we can build fields here and here too for those ones. That'll be nice. Most mine are just game dev servers to follow updates. Yeah, that's smart. I, I'm in the Ostrif one. I'm in... Um, one last Midnight server and in Roadhog server, and that's about it. Uh, oh, and Zonda Skins server for a bit support. So um, that's it. I don't really follow a lot of servers. It's just way too much work for me. I've, and I don't want to go in there all the time and check things out. Fisherman's hut build, very nice. There's the newcomers. Our monastery is taking more and more shape. So the garden is now ready. So we could now start to work on other sub buildings like a scriptorium and a hospitium. We have the monk dorms, non dorms, and the chapel and the garden, the treasury, the refectory. Oh, that's all for next time.
All right, people, it is 9 p.m. in the evening. I have been streaming for two hours, which has been great fun. I think we have actually quite a bustling town here. It's starting to look really cool with all the different buildings and stuff in there. I'm having great fun, but it is time to slowly put this to an end. Uh, so if you want to do me a favor and have some fun, go over to Donny Danger's channel. Uh, I'll see if I can quickly put up a link to it so that we can all go there and raid his little stream and have fun there. Let's see. Yep, here he is. So I'll put the link up right now. There you can find Donny Danger's channel. So uh, go over there, have fun, and uh, I'll see you all there then. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed. Um, don't forget, tomorrow there will be another great, great, great stream with the ladies. They'll be playing Astroneer, four of the ladies. So that should be so much fun. Make sure you don't miss it. And... Uh, why if you message me on Discord? I know I advised her to do that. I just replied, can you mention it to her, please? I will do that. And um, yeah, you beat me to it, uh, Kevin. You're way better than I am. Very good. Thanks so much. So thanks for being here. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you want to have more of this. And then, of course, I will see you another time. But not tomorrow. Then it's Wifey and a bunch of nice people streaming Astroneer. And now I will soon meet you all in Donny Danger stream. Thank you all so much. See you next time. Oh, and Kevin, don't forget to check your mail. Bye-bye.